before we get into this week's episode, we would like to tell you about our amazing long-term sponsor, NI Travel News. NI Travel News is a publication that you can both have in your hands and in your phone or on your laptop, wherever you get your internet. And it is a place you can keep up to date with all of the NI Travel News about, you know, there's lots of holiday competitions in there, lots of information about traveling ways, traveling handy, family travel, and also lots of news about like new places that you can get to from the various airports here. One of them being soon, or have they started already? Flights started already. Flights to Malta, Malta, yeah. Where you're going. Which I'm going to at the weekend. On NI Travel News. Yeah. Can't wait, can't wait. Yeah. It's going to be so much fun. Um, it's been three day, three or four days child free in Malta. Yeah, that's right, four days. And it's like yeah. you've got a class itinerary of all fun stuff to do whilst you're there. Literally every every minute is catered for. Yeah. And um, that's all like down that. to NI Travel News, which is class. And they're on Facebook, they're on Instagram, they're on TikTok, they're on LinkedIn. And if you search at NI Travel News, you should find them on any platform that you want. And it's really great just to stay up to date as Diona says, with like latest like flight information and new flights that are taking off from Belfast and further yeah. afield. Like like great family holidays and Yeah, stuff. travel hacks, all kinds, everything in the travel umbrella is NI Travel News. And the new actual publication that you can pick up in Ground Coffee and lots of airports and, and news agents is available on travel Monday. Agents. Travel agents, not yeah. news agents, is available on Monday, uh the fifteenth of April. Which is my mum's birthday, so that's great. It's a present for her instantly. So yeah, that's great, isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah. And it's my son's birthday the next day, so he's getting, one, getting one as well. well. So, yeah. One between them. That's it. That's it. Yeah. We have a, a sponsor this week that we're very excited about. It is Little Wing Pizza because we are the biggest pizza lovers. Like, it's our genuine, like, it, that's our favourite food. Yeah. We, we, we've had it for breakfast before, I'm not going to lie. We've had it for breakfast, lunch and dinner. See... Whenever we first met, two of our, like, shared loves was red sauce and pizza, and we yeah, were yeah. like, let's obviously get married. Let's get married, and we did, and we did, and it's going well, isn't it? And also one thing that we agree <laughs> on is that you would absolutely not have on your pizza is pineapple. Loads of things I wouldn't have on it, Maltesers. But, pineapp- yeah, but pineapple's the main I one. I would put a Malteser on it, if, if I could. Uh, try me. But no, definitely not pineapple, and that's the sort of ongoing thing that Wing have like have going on with their customers, this fun thing. They will not put pineapples on their pizza. If you want pineapple on your pizza, Little Wing, smuggle it in. Go to McGabry. I said you that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where you get pineapple on your pizza, McGabry. It is wrong. See anyone who puts fruit on their dinner? I know, I know. I'll tell you tell you this though, right? See, pizza lovers, see if you're having a pizza the next morning Aye. as like leftovers, get it in your air fryer first. A lot of people stick in the microwave straight away. Disgusting. Yeah. Tastes like cardboard. Yes. Get it in the air fryer. Tastes yeah. even better. So order a pizza the night before you want one. And then just stick the whole thing in the air fryer the next day. Oh. Little Wing have a thing called Little Wing Little Bill, which is available Sunday to Wednesday. And that offers two courses and a drink for two people for 17 50 each, which is class. That's great for like a wee date night. And there's 10 different venues across the north to choose from as well. So there's yeah. loads. We've been to Little Wing quite a few times and with the kids as well, which is great. Yeah. And we're they, definitely going to go here for this offer as well. Yeah. Our kids are definitely ours because they also love pizza. So cancel they? the DNA test. Yeah. So Little Wing, yeah, search them online, go to your local store and... Eat some pizza! Eat some pizza. Let's start the episode. Welcome to Meet the Parents. Uh, we are second. in a brand new... No, you're Leave fine. a second. We are in a brand yeah. new... Ay, we're in a brand new place, is which is in our backyard. It? This is yeah. a brand new place. Yeah, it's great to be here. We don't even know where to look anymore. It's, it's like, this is, Narnia, we're looking here. One. Yeah. yeah. You uh, haven't put up daft art yet. Yet. Next week. Yes. Yeah, Next yeah. Week. You need to you need to show people your personality. Yeah, yeah, we were we were torn between neon and um Chinese symbols. Oh, like a Joe Rogan big dirty neon sign. Something neon yeah, yeah. with like a ne- negatets on it. Something. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Something, Something like... Michael Scott. Do you know? I've noticed there's a lot of um, office related. Yes. Gear here, yeah. By the way, our My guest sa- this week is Kevin McLear. Well, Hi. Kevin McGarry. Kevin McGarry. <laughs> <laughs> the less famous Kevin. Do you know why? <laughs> We've just bought tickets to Kevin McAleer, which is why I've in my head. I think I'm going to see him Thursday. And twice today I've called Thursday. you Kevin McAleer talking to him. <laughs> Kevin McGarren. You're so excited. Fucking Kevin McAleer. <laughs> <laughs> he said yes. It'd be so funny if I thought it was you. I thought we bought tickets to see you. Where are you seeing him on Thursday? Um, He's in Bigger Street. Ah, uh, yes. Is this, this is his last hurrah, isn't it? Yes, his last hurrah. He's on his way out. Apparently, he'll See, be back. No, from, no, from no, comedy. No, 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 no,
I thought this was like the cancer tour. I don't something. have any inside scoops yeah. on his medical records. My mom's a nurse. <laughs> yeah. She got me the files. <laughs> yeah. But we, we, we booked tickets because it was the last gig. Yeah. And then a few weeks later, after he's it's sold out, he's doing Omen. He's, he's doing, doing dailies. We were like, fuck's fair. sake. That's I guarantee you all the comedians are going to be invited to that. To that's a real Rolling like, Stones trick. That's what we should mm-hmm. do. Their farewell tour was like 1984. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you should just keep saying goodbye. I know. So welcome to the last of our podcast. Anyway, it's great yeah. to be here. Um, we have a lot of office themed stuff in this office because I had an office themed breakfast for my birthday last week. How does that work? We we'll said breakfast. breakfast. Now breakfast yes. because two hours later, Diona takes all the decorations down because that's it. You know, birthday's over. Yeah, she's over celebrated. Do you? What, when do you take down your Christmas decorations? Oh, hey, when sometimes we, Boxing Day. Really, really yeah. early, but we put them. We put them up amazing. in November. Okay, okay, you got a so good. Do. You're sick of them at that stage. Yes, we do. Kevin do you go full there's Christian a, and go? A, there's a film of pine needles all over the floor. Where, no, we do fake trees. <laughs> yeah, it's fake trees. Every, just do fake trees. Yeah. When do you take yours down? Don't know. Whenever we're arsed, it's usually like well into January. Really? Jeez. Yeah, it's like I... the it's like the eighth of ninth of January. I'd say. Do you ever see people who like have forgotten one thing? And it's like August and there's like just one reindeer in the corner on yeah, a shelf yeah, and we do something. Uh, my wife's mom's friend knitted these lovely like snowman, Santi and a reindeer. And I realized we have them up all year round just because <laughs> they look lovely. But they're reindeers. There's a reindeer, a snowman and a Santa. There was a reindeer in our living room in there until it tried to decapitate one of us. <laughs> Came off its shelf. That's right. Yeah. Like nosedive. On the floor twice as well, twice? working probably suicide or I think a ghost. It was, yeah. yeah, or a ghost. I don't think the reindeers, the ghost, but that I, I'm a convinced. Go, an anti-Christmas ghost. Yeah, some fucking <laughs> yeah. woke liberal anti-Christ, anti-Christ ghost. Yeah, there you go. I'm convinced there's a ghost in our house though. Really? Yeah. Mm, like I don't believe in ghosts, but there's one on there. I think once you have kids, the good thing about having kids is, um, like today, I use the last of the bog roll. And then I just left it there. And, uh, <laughs> I was like, a child will get blamed for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like I'm doing things wrong around the house. No yeah. one, like my wife is just going to say, oh, who the fuck is probably one of the kids? Yeah. It was it's me. Great. It was great. me. It's great that they're using toilet roll though. They're, well, they just use it to play with it. Yes, but they're not shitting in their hands. Like the other day. Uh, no, it's, they're not doing like a dirty protest <laughs> or anything. Um, the other day I found my child had like pulled uh, like the entire roll onto the floor mm. so there was just a mountain of toilet roll so i had to roll it back up and my friend was over and i just said oh we got um bespoke toilet paper <laughs> like, and they were like oh right because it looks yeah, yeah, shittily yeah, rolled yeah, back yeah, up yeah, yeah. it's like it's very expensive yeah 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 very expensive it's, recy- remember, it's made um, from recycled toilet paper <laughs> during covid there was like genuinely rolls of toilet roll going for like 50 70 quid on ebay like people were like selling ones that were like triple quilted and stuff people panic mm. in times of crisis yeah. i think yeah. your mom still uses stuff that she bought during the pandemic she's still panic buying yeah she's still panic buying <laughs> for, for the next one for the next yeah, one yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah just for yeah for whenever there's like oh he's storm catherine or something yeah <laughs> <laughs> what was it the other day Kathleen Storm Kathleen Storm Kathleen that was a woman's name why is that misogyny I we're awful yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're awful windy <laughs> yeah no it probably is is it always a, ma- a woman's name I can't remember like it's never like Storm Brendan is it Brendan would do fuck all to begin with but yeah he's a dose yeah. he's, he's, he's too easy fucking, going you just know oh fuck off do you know why they name Storms what? Do you know how they name no, the storms? No, I have no idea. They just go round the street and they... Uh, not the street. <laughs> just <laughs> Channel the 4 street. just goes round the street. They go round the streets. Yeah. Of like, I'm going to imagine London. And they just ask people, like 100 people, what do you want to call it? Are you serious? And then they look for any doubles or trebles. And then they'd be like, sure, Kathleen will do her. But do they no, that's people? not true. Like they're Swear all white people God. names, that's aren't they? nuts. It is. So Channel 4 are naming our fucking storm. It's probably not Channel 4. And also it's probably not how they do it. But <laughs> it's definitely not Channel no, 4. No, it's not Channel 4. It's like the news. Are you there's, Googling how they do it? There's a fucking sponge amount of holes in this story. <laughs> no. So all I know is the people the people name the storms. Justin, you what you have say? a waffle of intelligence. <laughs> yeah. The real answer is actually a lot worse. Is it? <laughs> the first line I go is, why are storms named after women? And the first line in highlighted is to avoid arguments. <laughs> oh, wow. It is. They do ask the public. That is how it works. That's nuts. But who's they? That's what we need to find out. Because that's how they also do radio figures, don't they? Yeah, pretty much. They do a survey on the. They street. just do survey on the they street. Do a survey on the street. Same street. 
I don't trust people. No. No. Because if somebody asked me, like, are you listening to this, this, and this, I'd just be nice and go, yeah. Have you ever met anyone who had like a Nielsen rating thing in their gaff? What's that mean? You know, like ratings for TV. No. You know what you know what ratings? Oh, I know what ratings for TV are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so like, <laughs> I so hope like, to be part of some someday. <laughs> so like the late late show got fifty thousand, probably more than that. Yeah. Views. So they calculate it. They've got like a certain amount of houses around the country with these little boxes that record everything that's been watched, mm-hmm. and then they just multiply it by ten. I see. But like, I've never met anyone who's like, oh yeah, we've got one of them boxes in our house. Yeah. Like, and like, plus, like, you'd never watch porn. Because it was being be, recorded. Yeah, you'd be afraid of what you're watching. But so it you'd be, be like, oh, it's a documentary about climate change. I better watch that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> seem intelligent <laughs> when the box man comes over to take the figures. I would say it's really old people have them things on. Yeah. Because they probably got so. their TV license for free or something if they got it on. Yeah, I'd say so. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, it was the Late Late Show. Was that the first time you've been on? Yeah, it was nuts. Because it was yeah. Paddy's Day special, so there was a lot of people on. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd never done like live like late night i don't like live you know morning chat shows mm-hmm. or evening chat shows uh it was tense it was, mm. it was tense yeah because there's a big build-up like it's got a, such a reputation like all the comedians i saw as a kid were from the late late show yeah, yeah. you know like billy Connolly and tommy Tiernan, and uh, that's how i saw them so like I does felt, the atmosphere the on set feel tense or is it you're, you're like you're you it's speak? my own head I'd okay. say. yeah 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 because we always th- when we watch it from Kildee's took over yeah it it seems quite tense it seems like the the audience aren't up for a laugh like the how they used to be see they they're probably out of practice yeah because um, i think Kildee's doing an amazing job and i think he's genuinely funny and he seems interesting comedians i don't think mm. toberty liked having comedians on mm. oh. i think he liked serious yeah um, Whereas I think, think quite nervous on comedians. straddles that perfectly between yeah, the you have like to. you have to st- like w- interest in conversation and humor. Like he yeah. straddles that well, and he's done documentaries and stuff too. I think he is an interested in, in in more like deep topics as yeah. well as having the crack. But I definitely got the impression of him. He's like he wants to have comedians on, which is great for comedians. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. he's had loads of northerners on. Yeah, too. Yeah, we like, were like, are people raging down south? Because there's an awful lot of people from up here getting I, on. I did read a bit because you read tweets and stuff, and there is occasionally like, what's this the fucking Northern Ireland show? I know. Um, but I think for and I'm not because I'm I'm not blowing smoke, but I think for a long time the North has been fairly ignored. Yeah. Yes. On uh, on, I was gonna say Republican TV. Uh, on yeah. the TV down south, the, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think it's they're finding a balance, which is good, you know. And, and massively, I because there's there's like, is there any any like names up here who would be? I mean, Colin Murphy as well, yeah, in the south. But there yeah. wouldn't be a lot of comedians from the north who do much down south. No, there really Colin isn't. Murphy really has been doing a lot for a long time. Yeah, he's but the only like, TV comedian from yeah. down south from up here. Like uh, Michael Red, no Michael Red, uh, Kevin McAleer would have been on from the 80s yeah so he was on he was on late late show very young in his career i think uh but yeah not a lot and like comedy's fucking booming up here yeah yeah it's like really it, good even as an outsider like it seems like ye are just fucking really busy yeah We've like is, is, own scene, I think. is that from is that purely podcasting that's really just i think so yeah. i think yeah. it's the podcast it's, it's a mixture i think but podcasters Podcasting definitely gets people out to watch people. Yeah. You know, it's people, you, you don't get famous now, and I say that with kind of, you know, inverted commas. You, yeah. you, you don't get famous now from doing a set in a comedy club. You get famous from doing a podcast, and then yeah. people go to see you. Do yeah, stand-up. I agree. That's yeah. how you that's, get the bums on sites. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's kind of same down south as well. It's yeah. come out of yeah. lockdown. Yeah. yeah. Like, you know, a few of the podcasts got really popular during lockdown and then it sort of just bled into other podcasts and I think then that's now just people... It, you know, there used to be a really booming music scene up yeah. here and it's, there still is, but comedy definitely surpassed it at one point, mm. which was so unforeseen because the music scene up here is really good as well. And there has never really been that massive crossover between the North and the South. It's so yeah. bizarre how it's still mm. so separate. I think, though, as you said, I think the podcast is kind of breaking down those barriers. Yeah. Yeah. If we all just slut ourselves around each other's podcasts for a while. <laughs> <laughs> just start inbreeding yeah, just until the audience get confused <laughs> yeah. about whose accent's whose. So how's Andrew Ryan? Uh, how do you guys look at him now that he's now one of us? Do you look at him with disgust? He's or? not allowed back. 
He's not. He's not no. laid back. No fucking way. <laughs> he talks with a Belfast accent now. He does yeah, he? really no. does. He, no, here he does. He does. does he? he has a Do full does. twang. He does. Do you know what? Like Cork and Belfast are two very separate accents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I think it's probably wise. Yeah. Like the the I was because I was driving on the way on the drive up. I was thinking like like where does the Northern Ireland accent come from? Because our DUP. Are you? I don't think they invented it. Are Northern Irish people are mostly from Scotland? If you go way, way oh, back, yes, like uh, what do you call that? Like plantation, not yeah. plantation, not plantation, not plantation. What do you call it? What the, do you call it? The when plantation they, of Ulster. No, when, plantation of Ulster. Yeah, yeah, when they brought loads of Scots over, like yeah. um, Ulster Scots. Now, yeah. is, that, is that who that would be? Ulster Scots from Scotland. Yeah. So, if you took a Scottish person and got them to do an impression of a southerner, would they sound like a Northern Irish person? Jesus, that's blown my mind. <laughs> that's a really interesting experiment. Do you know what's so yeah. similar? I used to work with a lady from Ballymena, and for years I thought she was Scottish. Yeah. They all sound Scottish. There's, they just, there's a Scottish. section. Wow. Have you been to Ballymena before? No. I know it's a big shopping centre. No, that's all. <laughs> it enough. is. Do you know what? We, we, we've gigged loads in Ballymena. I've done shows there, but... Ballymena is just like a fucking mad place. Is it? I think so. I think like it's it's they sound Scottish and they're like it's like a tiny country. Yeah. In the middle of another tiny country. Yeah. But it, it's weird for being such a small nation or part of the world. There's so many accents. Yeah, I love there, it. There are maybe 30 accents it's, within 90 I, miles. Because it's kind of I think kids now because obviously they're watching more TV. Their accents are a lot more Americanized. Yeah. And we're all getting quite flat. Yeah. Um. So I miss I miss mad accents. Like on my road, the, like there used to be like eight accents mm. on my road. <laughs> like every house would have an accent. I had used to do a bit. Actually, still sort of talk about it sometimes. It doesn't matter about when Dairy Girls did so well, mm-hmm. and about how like obviously all our kids now play with their toys in American accents because we do let yeah. YouTube raise them, and about how like we just hope that. The kids in America are now playing in dairy accents. Could you imagine them like toys and all oh, fucking shit the tights? Gonna <laughs> <laughs> well, get you, Batman. Like I watched um the kneecap film. I did you? I auditioned for that. Did did you fuck? I got down to the last two for um DJ Provey's wife. No way. But my my Irish would be shit. Yeah. So I, I was really Irish, yeah. no, it wouldn't it wouldn't be good enough. I've actually, I'm going to say, I, I have actually done movies in Irish, but uh, her Irish was obviously better, and then she was a better actress as well, so that helped. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's what they look for as well, I suppose. Yeah, it was uh, good. It was amazing. I it was it really absolutely good. amazing. And I watch it, and I was like, they actually made Irish, the language, like rebellious. Yeah. And they made it cool. Yeah. And I was like, there's going to be kids in London. Like going like, hey, mum, I want to fucking speak Irish. Yeah, Just yeah, like, yeah, no, yeah. S- Jeremy, please. <laughs> <laughs> fucking cool, I know, but it's, it's class that they've done it, isn't it? Like they oh, made like, it urban. Like the first, you know, like you go into like a film, especially if you haven't bought a ticket, if you're, it's like a premiere or something. You go oh, in, right, you're, not leave snuck in. You go in, you go in going like, ah, you know, this would be a bit of crack. Like yeah. lads, you know, fucking DJing and fucking running from guards and stuff. But the first 30 seconds, I was like, holy shit, this is like a proper fucking arty film. Yeah. Like the opening sh- the opening scene, I don't know if I should ruin it. The well, opening I've read scene, the script. Ruin it. Have you? Yeah. The opening scene is like, uh, it's, a, it's a woman carrying like a baby through the forest. And you're like, what the fuck's going on here? And it's a like a secret baptism. Yeah. On a mass rock or yeah. something. And the fucking, or you see During the helicopter comes over the head and there's a priest there and all the family's there and the dad's holding the baby and the dad just gives a big finger to the fucking (laughs) helicopter so the first thing the kid sees is a finger to the fucking cops and i was like i got chills watching i was like this is unreal and then wasn't that mohara the baby then became mohara yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. which is one of the guys yeah from from kneecap but i think they're class yeah they're like they're like oh. uh, i came out of i was like fucking duolingo irish yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> do you not speak any irish no i'm shit at it you d- I- we te- they teach it really i know we keep we always blame it on how they teach it but they teach it like um memory based so they teach you to like learn four or five stories for your test oh like like you got up in the morning and then you went and brushed your hair like those stories it's yeah so me and my friend Liam we were listening to the radio and there was a competition to win tickets to see you 2 in Croke Park and we got the tickets and then my friend Liam (laughs) broke his leg and we had to ring an ambulance and we went to the (laughs) hospital 
and you know, You're Irish in, the, in the in <laughs> the, I understood every word of that. Every word of that. <laughs> it's all, it's always like you know, in the heel of the hunt, yeah. and uh, suddenly, you know, yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. we the the, the ambulance cat the recover. ambulance went at the speed of the wind. <laughs> So you just learn it off, yeah. Mem- like a poem or a prayer, yeah. And then you recite it in the test, and then you forget it immediately because it's useless, shit. Yeah. My daddy um taught a our Spanish for a year in Madrid to like kids in primary school, so he'd be like the, the I was gonna say like the English speaking ambassador probably to them, yeah. but they were like we like P ones or P twos, and he says that there was this one we one we kid in the class and just could never ever get anything. Yeah. And he says every time that he would say to him like. What like come to Yamas? What is your name? He would always go, I am seven. <laughs> and then every time he'd be like, you know, what what age are you? He'd always go, Miguel. <laughs> Never got it. <laughs> always back to front. Yeah. He, he didn't graduate school. Yeah, fair enough. But yeah. if, if if school was filled with inspirational people, do you know what I mean? I think we should and I mean this in the most respect respectful way because I've got a bit of shit from teachers recently from stuff I've said about them right. did a good job. They do a great job, but we shit teachers. Then. But if there were if they were inspirational, do you know what I mean? Like if your PE teacher fucking climbed Kil- Mount Kilimanjaro yeah. with no legs, do you know what I mean? That's who I want taking no. football training and PE. That like that's such a high requirement. That's yeah. who you need. Yeah, you to need have someone to have no legs. To be honest, like if you climbed a junk, uh, like a monkey bars, yeah. with no legs, I'd be like, that's impressive. If they got oh. into bed, <laughs> be like fair play. But no, you're kind of no. like I remember, like like we were still taught. Like, did you have Peg Sayers? No. So Peg Sayers was used for like a hundred years how to teach kids Irish. And she was just an old woman <laughs> made out of like cloth sticks and spuds. And she had the <laughs> hardest life in the world living on a rock on the side of Galway. And we, this was our basis. This was our inspirational characters. But I, I came out of that film going like if you showed every junior sir kid fucking the kneecap film. They'd be like, yeah. I'm learning it. Yeah. I'm learning it and I'm going to yeah. go to these gigs. I'm going to have a fucking time in my life. Yeah. yeah. And I'm going to understand. It made me want to go to their gigs and understand everything they were saying, you know? Mm. That's what I thought whenever I was going to uni and I went to study drama and I thought, oh, it'll be like... It'll, skins. Well, it'll just be like Fame Academy, <laughs> not Skins. <laughs> like, like on the uni? Well, I just thought it'd be like, everyone be like, you know, in dancing shoes and like doing... I want to live forever. forever. <laughs> like, was, like everyone would be like so friendly and co- it would be like colourful. And yeah. I remember on the very first day, this massive lecture, like 300 people in a big hall and the tutor was like, um, nobody here statistically will become an actor. Wow. And, you know, you should really start thinking about the theory side of it and the business side of it. Most of you will probably be like, you know, if you're lucky, and you might become accountants or you might become only fans. like teachers. <laughs> or, uh, if only she knew back then. And you were just sitting there all, what the fuck's the point then? And then yeah. I checked out day one. Yeah. So, I was like, well, so it didn't make it. Yeah. for kneecap. Who's <laughs> 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 laughing now, bitch? She's laughing now. So it didn't make you go like, fuck you, I'm going to be the 1%. No, I just went home to holes and got blocked. Just, just went back like, to the Holy Lands and just yeah, this <laughs> right into the Bible. This is what I'll do instead. I know, yeah. My my goal at, at, at well, you you a lot of your you started off kind of acting comedy. Yes, not like it was. It was, <laughs> was acting doing, comedy, yeah. yeah. Yeah, like I was always wanted to be an actor. Stand up was never a thing, and then was acting. But all of my rules were comedy rules, is what I just ended up yeah. getting, and then I ended up just sort of being in that type. Sure. You know, just always doing comedy. And then I was doing comedy sketches and we were at the fringe and I was not doing any stand up though. And then I met Sean, but then a few years after, and he was a stand up still is. And then a few years after that, my friend was getting married and she asked me to do a speech at her wedding. And I did a speech at the wedding and it was it went down really well. And Sean was like, That's stand up. And I was yeah, like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. And then I did that and that's it. That's how it happened. Yeah. Moment, yeah, it was like, oh my God, I write that. Is, I could do that. Yeah. Because you did a thing for Radio 4 as well, didn't you? Well, it was like delivering a speech, but it was in a funny way. It, it was, was about the wedding speech, which was rare. But because it, it, it was, was about women doing speeches at right. weddings, which isn't that common, which is rare. I, I regret not doing a speech at my own wedding. Is I it, didn't. It's a more common now, though. Yes, yeah. it was. Way more common now. Yeah, yeah. Start, I think. It's a weird thing. It's like, and now only the lads will talk. I know. <laughs> and sometimes, like, Jesus Christ. Best man speeches or even groom speeches can be the most boring. boring. Yeah, yeah. The worst is like lads trying to be funny. Yeah. And oh, I think the the worst God. is when they don't. At least someone tries. Like, is it not a given that everyone's supposed to try and do at least one like something funny in their speech? Yeah. You just watch people going, "All oh, the bridesmaids look lovely." That's it. I was at a, I, I was at a wedding. I'm not going to say who it's for, um, but the groom was from Tyrone, 
and um, there was a load there's a load of yanks there and uh, he <laughs> the best man get up he was like so a lot of the yanks probably think we're you know all in the IRA you know in Northern Ireland so I might as well just lean into it and he stuck on a balaclava and <laughs> he read out the, the cards <laughs> class <laughs> from like so uh, Maggie from uh from Boston wishes her best of luck to the band. and I was like this is the most fucking surreal thing I've ever seen <laughs> oh my god Jesus. and then they fucked been. the Pope in the IRA <laughs> yeah, yeah, simply yeah. the best kneecap was the band <laughs> amazing uh, what age are your kids um, Wallace is three and Jesse is one and a half Wallace is a cool name yeah, we like it, yeah. Jesse's nice too, but I've never heard of a child called Wallace. Yeah. Um, Office related? No. We were at... Who's called <laughs> oh, David Wallace? Wallace? Or Gromit related? Who? Wallace and Gromit. Oh, no, it's W-A-L-L-I-S. <laughs> okay. So we were at a wedding years ago and we met a singer called Wallace Bird. And I had a great conversation with her. And then later my wife had a great conversation. I was like, I met this girl, Wallace Bird. I was like, I fucking love that name. Hmm. And we're like, if you ever have a girl, let's call it Wallace. And that was it. It stuck. And plus, my wife's mom's, um, her second name was Wallace with an A-C-E. A-C-E. Yeah. And um, like they had no kids to kind of carry on that name. So we're like, fuck. That's girl. a nice yeah. touch. That's, that's lovely. Really suits her. It's a funny name and she's a really funny child. Like, you know. And what age is Wallace? Three? Three. And then what age is? Jesse's one and a half. Oh, so yours are like not that much different than ours then? Like no, pretty wise? close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we just coping? Are you knackered too? Are you knackered? Are you yeah, through the man. trenches yet? Not really. Um, no, there there was a lovely period where they slept for eight hours. Mm. But now Wallace comes into us at like 6 a.m. And like not even to sleep, just to sort of kick us. Yes. And I'm like, the fuck? I don't what about the clocks about going forward though? Did that help? Is it now seven or is it still six? Um, is yeah, it's probably it's before six, so but it's a quarter to seven. Yeah, we've now got ours to half seven. It used to be half six at the latest. It used to be quarter to six, six. Yeah, yeah. now it's now it's because now it's the clock's seven. going forward. It's half seven. But we also we like I'm considering just locking her door. Well, we got a thing <laughs> in our wee girl's room, which we have talked about the podcast before. But it's like a light that lights up at a time you set. Oh, I, I bought one today. Oh, did on you? adverts. I was like, fuck this. I'm buying one of them fucking magic clocks that light up when it's time yeah. to get up. Yeah. Um, works so straight for us. Still works. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It does. It does work. And then you even just like tell them, like, for instance, if our wee girl w- w- wets or like has an accident and it's her underwear that has like a princess on it, we'd be like, that princess knows you've peed yourself. <laughs> Which is quite sinister. <laughs> it is. It's quite horrible. But it, I hope it'll stop her doing it the next time. <laughs> it's but very... in a room where like Santa will know. Like, yeah. he's, the light, you know, um, even at night time, we still say Santa turns the TV off. We'd be like, oh my God, Santa turned that off. Yeah. Just that's blame good. it on something. Yeah, that's, that's not good. Real. The TV goes off like a second and a half after you press the button. So you press the button and then you get your phone out and then you're like, Santa. <laughs> Santa. It's, it's funny. Like Santa. You have to skirt the line between like manipulating them and then traumatizing them. No. It's mm. like I start like there was a while I was like, oh, there's a load of spiders in my room. Uh, mm. Don't come into our bedroom because it's just filled with spiders. <laughs> and I'm like, now I'm going to give her like this deep fear of spiders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be like debilitated for the rest of her life. Well, you try on. You say, I know you do. You try. <laughs> Does your is your one and a half year old getting up really early? Is that who does? No, he's him? not bad. He's a good sleeper. Like oh, that's the he, same as ours. That's the boys. The boys sleep better. Boys sleep better. We're lazier. lazier. Yeah. Yeah. They cannot <laughs> be arsed. The same as ours. Like today, I left did Rocky from his nap and like brought him downstairs. Was walking around, banging around, and he was still asleep in my arms. And I was like, "Wake up!" Like shouting at him, and he just he just <laughs> would not wake up. Because you have unusual names. You got Rocky and Winter, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, because it's it's a risk. Given like a really unusual name, it is. Because what if what if he's like really boring? Well, what if he's an accountant? He's like, hi, my name is Rocky. I'll be doing your accounts. You can live alone. (laughs) You can live alone in the mountains. There is an absolute chance though, because he's so laid back and so quiet, and as all that we feel, will never be in a fight in his life. He's so laid back, and people go, "Be it's going to be an ironic name now." Yeah, Yeah. because he could like he could be a like he's going to be a rock star with that name. Is he? Yeah, he is. (laughs) He's not gonna be boring. But you know we so we've named obviously our daughter Winter. She went into daycare when she was like one and a half, and when we we brought her in, and they were like, "Oh, Winter, that's a lovely name." And there's another Winter in her class, and I was like, "Hi." We go to like, all that effort. Nothing fucking worse. <laughs> like you know, I'm nearly afraid to like say the names of my kids like in TV shows or podcasts because I don't want people to take them. I know. 
I'd, I'd, Child I'd, I'd be, I'd be, yeah. yeah. You know, everyone's so like the kids are their names. I don't want to say their names in case somebody listening has oh. a kid and then steals our name. Steals the child. I want, I want her to be the only name. I know. <laughs> That's why my mom and dad named me Diona. They made it up. My dad's called. That's Steve, a really good one. My yeah, mom's yeah. called Donna, and they put it together and called me Diona. Wow. I know. That's a cool idea. It is, yeah. but it, nobody can spell it. Nobody can say it. And it's if you're on holidays, you can never get like a little keering. <laughs> never, ever. Let's go, I got you a Derek keering. Yeah. The closest to it. I know my brother's called Darn and I'm just getting a Fiona or something. Because you say, if people say, how do you spell your name? You go, it's Fiona with a D. And then the Fiona, they're like, the, the, no. they just don't get it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't get it at all. Has your... Um, has your personal hygiene changed since you had kids? Yes. You don't get a second. <laughs> Absolutely. Hair washed every two weeks. I've said this to you before. Like if you can get like a quick shower in like a thir- 30 you, seconds. You look clean. We're not. Like I don't see any stains. No, I, I assume I, your child didn't do that. No, no, no. Smiley no. face on no, your church. Leaning on a wall one day and the fancy walk past. <laughs> also, we haven't been near our kids all day. We just let them. Because <laughs> I, I, do you remember like when before your kids, like if you had like a stain on your shirt and you were going out, you're like, oh, fucking have to go home and yeah. wear a different shirt. No, no. I just don't I, care anymore. It's I go out and my friend was like, your fucking shirt is destroyed, man. Yeah. And I was like, I don't care. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. I like, answered. I I watched it a they're couple of days wounds. ago. They're war wounds, aren't they? Yeah. I answered the, the door a couple of weeks ago. Um, you ensued the door. No, I, I answered right. the door <laughs> and had a conversation with someone with a dirty nappy in my hand. Oh, yeah, and yeah. And I think it was Amazon. Just, carry, just carrying around the I was just, I was just stand, And it wasn't even inside one of my bags. I was just standing there. I don't even know if it was wrapped up yet, but I just had this pissy nappy <laughs> It was here. like you were eating fish and chips. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just halfway through this nappy here. Yeah. It's a weirdest right. fetish. She was coming leaving going, why did she, did she do that on purpose to freak me out? <laughs> like me suddenly going fucking. But I um I had a tutor before who used to wipe her face with a pissing nappy. What? When her kids were away. What? She why? also fell through the roof in her house to the next lo- like she, are, they, she are those th- two no, things really. connected no i don't think i just like i'm sort of setting the bar the barometer for how how mad in the head she was but she used to like wipe her face on like a dirty nappy is there a- or like- yeah 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 <laughs> she was like this cute it's anti-aging wow you know so also other children know that that's a different mummy yeah yeah yeah. Like- she's marking her territory <laughs> Is there a dermatological reason? I think she's absolutely off her tits. Okay. Is the, <laughs> is the only reason that's, that she's ever done that. What I'm saying is too, she fell through her own roof, like from upstairs to downstairs oh and just like God. came in on a bike. Like she's, she's just like a, a rare, a rare guy. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so we were, we were always like, I don't know, even if you have kids. So I don't know where you're getting access to these dirty nappies. Yeah. Sorry, she did not have children. I don't, I don't, I've never had, the only time I've ever had her talk about children was when she spoke about the dirty nappies. And the I said, only, I don't know where you're getting the only children. childless people I know who have children's urine are people who want to pass drug tests at work. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh my God. That's a, that's a thing. Can you there's, drug- there's a market for, for that. I think, yeah, bottle your kids piss, sell it to people who are doing drug tests for work. Mm. Um, but yeah. then they, they could say like you've got the diet of a fucking two year old you're eating nothing but leave yeah why is your piss full of chicken nuggets <laughs> <laughs> was it her piss though well she's not pissing into a nappy is she I, I don't know well, she, she doesn't be. have kids I don't know I know I know uh, she uh, could be rummaging through bins yeah. yeah she could be that wee bin hooker in Belfast have you ever seen that video about the wee bin hooker the bin hooker 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 is hooker <laughs> to rob the accent thing Hoker is like somebody who's like like um rummaging, rummaging. Yeah. yeah 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 the bin rummager like a womble. Yeah. Do you remember that video? Yeah. Years ago there was this video that went viral in Belfast and it was somebody who was like lifting rubbish and going like just like going through all the not like in a real sad way just like in a weird weird way right. through Belfast and everyone called it was a wee woman the was my film going away the fuck you wee bin hooker you and it was like viral it no was, way like, yeah. <laughs> it was probably the first video ever on the internet. What's your favorite Northern Ireland viral videos? Oh. Getting blocked the night. Yeah. Have you ever seen that one? Getting blacked. Like, blocked. Block. Go block. to the girl in the front seat of the car. Can't and she's like, getting blocked, blocked the night. Yeah. That's my favourite. I've never seen that. Jimmy Lee. You're bound to have seen it. Oh, Just a yeah. Have you? Yeah. <laughs> You're bound to have seen it. No. I don't yeah, know that that's, one. That's my favourite. Was it, Roland Lansky used to do those ones where he would go, he would, yeah. he would roll down the window and drive past people and say stuff like, You'll always shine bright as long as you have the stars in your eyes. And then he would just drive on or, do you know, it's going to be all, 
you're only as big as the city you live in and just saying quotes <laughs> yeah. and it was always like inspirational, inspirational and nice quotes, stuff but he would end it with like a yeah, yeah wouldn't he yeah yeah, yeah. they were great <laughs> yeah, yeah, what are the big that. viral ones from Mexico um, oh yeah I didn't realise that we were called Mexicans until the last I did a gig in the Empire like not last time the time before and this guy came up to me and was like here yeah, you're funny for a Mexican and I was like what the f- is that what they call us? Yeah. I did not realise we were called Mexicans. I don't know what it is. Is it the border thing? It's, yeah, south of Must the border. Must be the border. Yeah, yeah. yeah Which yeah, would yeah. make ye Americans. Yes. I'd yeah, prefer yeah. to be Mexican. If I would prefer to be Mexican <laughs> as well. Yeah, it's more sun. Um, I rem- there's one that sticks in my head. Uh, it's an argument between a couple. And it's just... It's filmed from like a bedroom window, you know? Yeah. And it's just this woman just berating the husband because he cheated on her or a boyfriend or whatever. And she's just like, why do you ride hippos? Why do you ride hippos? He goes, you do, you dirty fucking animal. You're fucking, you're right now and she's a hippo. Why do you ride hippos? And it's just a snapshot into a relationship that you don't want to be a part of. That's fucking brilliant. That's I do. Does, do you remember the one of a guy, he's singing a song and... Uh, I don't know what the fuck song it is. Oh yeah, making my way down down it's on the land. I've got a oh fucking chest. seagull, and then he's got a seagull in his hand <laughs> that just goes. Ah! Oh, does he do lots of videos again? Or no? I don't one, think so. Off. I think okay. this one's probably in yeah. jail. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm be pretty sure. Thing, I think. I remember. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's yeah, not. Yeah. He's not touring with a fucking seagull. <laughs> the new bird, everybody. He's doing the limelight next week. <laughs> Because I remember Neil Delamere showed me like this. Do you know like? Do you know like when you find something really funny and you, yeah. you're like, "This is the best thing ever." And you show it to someone else and it doesn't quite translate. Not, nothing worse. And he kept showing me these videos of this guy who was just so weird and do random shit. The guy I, I thought I saw a seagull, and and I was like, "This isn't. I'm not. I'm not loving this. Just that that hasn't translated to me." Yeah. It's probably one of those ones. But weird the way like things that go viral down south don't go viral up here. And vice really? Yeah, I don't yeah, think funny. so. I don't, there's just not that much of a crossover. When you start amalgamating these islands back, this island. Yes, we need to get this island together, in, even just in terms of viral videos. Yeah, yeah that, <laughs> if, if that's it. Um, you have a show up here soon, don't you? Yeah, I'm in Limelight on, oh God, I think the 20th of April. I think it's Hitler's birthday. Is that the 20th of April? That wasn't planned. Intentionally, no. It was not intentional. Right, right. I think it's It's always going to be April. some asshole's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? I'm hoping that people aren't there to celebrate it. They, well, that yeah. would be. Why don't you do a themed party? You do I mean, pick a side, though. <laughs> I mean, it's 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 problematic. He doesn't have a lot of fans. Well, not in <laughs> Bill, not in the limelight, not in Belfast. No, no, no. no you're in, yeah, you're in the wrong country. Have you done the limelight before? I have, but ages ago. Yeah, long time. Lovely like I'd say, three, I'd say five years ago, maybe. Hmm. It uh, is. It is. Whenever I'm up, it's I'm always in Empire. Yeah, I've done Laveries. I don't think yet. You haven't? No. I thought you did Laveries like a month ago. No. No, it was in right, Empire. Right. You were in the Empire, Empire, yeah. yeah, yeah. Empire is probably um, what it was. Lavery's is class as well. Yeah, yeah it's everyone It's a says Wednesday that. and a Thursday night, and it's brilliant. Like Savage. It's such a good gig. It's probably like one of the best ones. Everyone sort of yeah. loves loves gigging there. It's it's never yeah. a shit gig. Yeah. So you could go in there and just do your shit of stuff, and and the audience are just so good. Yeah. They'll they'll mm. they'll give it to you. Because I I remember like. Don't do your shit of stuff when you go in there, Kevin. <laughs> Thanks for the advice. <laughs> but he's going, she told me I could do my shit of stuff. I remember like, I remember thinking like, oh, like it's it's different up the north. I have to like do a separate set. Mm. And I did this thing in the Empire years ago where I played like an American tourist. You know, these American tourists that kind of come to Belfast and they don't really know a lot about the history and they just fucking make loads yeah. of mistakes. Looking for Game of Thrones hotspots. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um so I had, so I was kind of slagging off, but I didn't realize Empire was fairly Catholic. Uh, Is it? I didn't realize either. It's fairly Catholic. Do you what? It's down near, yeah, like the Holy Lands and stuff. Just so, kind of judging yeah. by what they laugh at. Okay. So I did, I did this character. No, it's not. Protestants don't laugh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. Um, they don't do songs. They don't, <laughs> they don't go mad for the Virgin Mary. Um, they march instead of dancing. <laughs> yeah. But I did this character of like this American tourist who's there to find his roots and he just keeps getting bed up and saying the wrong thing. And when I was like doing like Protestant jokes, they were lapping it up. But then like when I started doing Catholic jokes, they were like fucking no. Uh, but I had one oh bit I had one bit where it was like, um, so I said to my driver, Seamus, I want to see like the real Bel- Belfast. So he took me, um, he took me to uh, this place on... Um, Where's the fucking dodgy road? Has kill in the name? 
all of them have Shank Hill. in the name. Oh, I Shank uh, Hill. So he took me to this place on Shank Hill Road. And I noticed there was some lovely graffiti outside bar, this bar. And um, I said, driver, what's that graffiti? And he goes, oh, to commemorate their lost loved ones, they like to write their name. I was like, my grandfather, Ira, was such a big <laughs> part of my life. So he, he gave me some spray paint. I wrote Ira forever. And uh, these lads come out and kick the shit out of me. But yeah, when I was doing like the Protestant stuff, they were loving it. And then as soon as I was doing Catholic stuff, they were like, no. They want to hear more? Protestant yeah. stuff. Protestant stuff. Um, I, I've always had the idea of me and her dressing up as like American tourists and walking through Derry and going to like the really, really like Republican nationalist yeah. the states and just hoping in a big map and just send a guy going, hey man, could you help us? We're trying to find Lindondry. Best <laughs> 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 like, like, it. And All just, of the signs have been defaced. <laughs> 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 And just filming all their reactions that fucking shit themselves. Let me just uh, let me just uh, adjust this sign. Welcome to free <laughs> London. At least you have footage when you're putting in for the claims from all the hangs you would get. Well worth it. Yeah. You're like fucking jackass, wasn't it? Or yeah. I like the idea of jackass in Belfast. Yeah. Jack arse. Jack arse. Jack arse. <laughs> I don't think. Um, I hate jackass. Did you? I no, hate it. Love it. I Is it a guy girl thing? I just don't. I just don't find pain funny yeah do you know what because remember there was like a load of copycats years ago dirty sanchez, dirty sanchez yeah. i never liked that um because they would be like oh we're gonna fucking nail a balls to a fucking burning Aye. skateboard yeah. and like that's awful whereas jackass i always found there was a lot of humor even in the violence it was kind of cartoonish like yeah Looney Tunes, yeah. Tom and Jerry levels yeah. of violence, you know. But, I, but even still, I'm like, I don't, I don't hunt. Like it's such boy stuff. Yeah, it's very. Like boy even stuff. now we see teenage boys hanging around outside, and all they do is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pushing each other. And, yeah. All Fighting. is here. Nobody stands still. They're just constantly banging and pushing. Yeah. Like how are you? No, everyone's on high alert the whole time. They're just constantly yeah. like cats. Just... I remember seeing it, seeing the movie, the first movie in Cavan Cinema, and there was like a riot at the end of it just lads just all this pent-up aggression mm. and just lads are fucking <laughs> wrestling down the aisle throwing popcorn and coke all over each other it was unbelievable yeah i can't crack. i can't i would rather well i was gonna say i'd rather let's watch like a murder documentary but that's a, <laughs> that's such a woman thing to do though why is that well, you can't watch a lad get kicks in the balls but you'll watch like a horrible tale of a woman getting yeah. murdered over eight weeks like, i know i know like what is wrong with you, you? See all those like abundance? we're innocent compared to you i know like women in their 30s and like they're like hoovering or like cleaning the house they got their earphones on and we're all just like everything looks like so peaceful and stuff and inside it was like and her body was dragged from the garage and she was did chopped you, into 90 pieces did you see um, dragged up to london <laughs> i remember ard lohanan was in a in a like a, a drama about uh, it was father. like murder father ted's no <laughs> <laughs> that was a um, it was so it was ardlo hanlon in this like drama and it was police and it was murder but like he was still kind of doing his voice yeah yeah. And yeah i was yeah. watching my wife i couldn't take it seriously because i just <laughs> so for a week i just kept doing impressions of like dougal investigating yeah, murder yeah, yeah, yeah. the semen was found all <laughs> over the floor <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I know it's uh, you can see here this is where he made love to her after she died <laughs> <laughs> it was an absolute disgrace Ted <laughs> uh, God love him he can't get away from it I know it must be tough so I can't. but like we can't you know feel too sorry because like we all love to be part of love, an yeah, amazing yeah. show like yeah. that <laughs> do you know what i i was gigging with him a few weeks ago when, or a few maybe a month or two ago when i had said him that i was like do you not like do you find that that is still haunting you he was like i'm i'm like it's still every day like every, every day. day it's just every that day. and no matter what else he does he's done so many other tv shows yeah, yeah. but that is that is always it um, but it's funny the things that people recognize you for that you're like well obviously uh, i mean father ted's huge but you remember one time someone said to me are you the girl on that and named like a sketch i'd done that has like 86 views on yeah, youtube yeah. 17 years ago and i was like <laughs> what is that even were we was there even an online when we made that but it's uh, it's much better to be recognized for something brilliant than something shite that was something <laughs> shite. absolutely something shite <laughs> yeah the worst and um, what was it like doing republic telly that's a lot of pressure um it was great crack because like it you didn't have time to think yeah because it was a live I and mean, it was filmed live and then it went out the next night yeah but it's shot as live it's shot it? as live yeah. yeah um so you didn't have time to think you're you're writing for five days well realistically four days yeah you take monday off yeah um so you're writing for like four or five days and then 
you just go out and you just do it. Mm -hmm. And there's kind of an excitement and a freedom to that. Yeah. Whereas you don't have time to think like, and we were so cruel. When I look back on it, I'm like kind of ashamed of like how hard. At some of the jokes. Huh? At some of the jokes you mean? Just like, we were so cruel. Because like you're every week, you're like, because now I know what it's like to make TV shows and when you watch people react and if they don't like it or you read comments online and it really hurts your yeah, feelings. Yeah, yeah. But like when somebody would fuck up on telly, we'd just be like, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. stupid fucker, I'm going to fucking destroy <laughs> you. So you're not caring about people's feelings at I all. I know. Um, but it was great crack. It was almost like, like TV burp, wasn't it, in a way? Yeah, I mean, I think yeah. they literally just ripped off that idea. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was great though. It was great. It's good crack. Yeah, yeah. definitely good crack. Saying, up here, we've nothing like that. Never There's had. nothing like that now down nothing south either. Anything. We don't have any breakfast shows, any like, do you have like the six o'clock show? And yeah. You have the yeah, you have Ireland AM and things like that. Yeah, yeah. You go to England, there's GMB well. and there's all, it's like, okay, we don't have anything. There, there's yeah. nothing. We Why used not? to have like a Friday night, was it Friday night or Saturday night chat show? They had like Kelly. The Kelly show. The Kelly show. And then they had Stephen Nolan. One. Yeah. <laughs> and then Nolan, the other Nolan show. Did and Nolan then the other do Nolan something show. something at the weekend, no? No. Like a chat show? I don't think so. There was another one, I think, on BBC One. I can't remember who did it. But that that was 20 years ago, maybe more. I think, well, like, what's stopping you from doing, like, a live YouTube spy, Friday morning. night? No, it's just all... do, like... <laughs> 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 it's funny, that noise you make was... I thought that was you doing cocaine. Um What's stopping you from doing, like, a Friday night live YouTube chat show? As in, like, us? Or yeah. You? Yeah, us? yeah. Get, pe- get guests in. Give me, film it here. Yeah. Get a little musical guest. Do you know why I say like going to bed? <laughs> to be honest, yeah. then not afraid Friday night. I know. No. I know. Do you know what? It, it's, yeah. So who's going to mind the kids? That's, what, that's the, the first thought. Yeah. Who's, who's going to take our Have kids? To get, give them jobs. <laughs> Like give, teach them how to use runner, a camera. Yeah, one yeah. Be a, hold the boom. The, boom <laughs> the tiniest, so the tiniest, cutest boom in the world. <laughs> yeah. uh, but like, it's it seems idea. like that's the only way to get out and done now. Is you can't rely, yeah. you can't like rely on like, oh, I hope RTE like gives oh, me I know. a job. Mm. Everyone has to do it themselves now. Yeah, I used to think like that. Even like you know, one day I'll be a big rapper, but I'll, I, I don't even rap. Do you? I've never rapped. I, I, you just you're waiting your for head, someone like, to someone will discover me. Yeah, yeah. You're waiting for Dr. Dre <laughs> to be in like, your head, well, I need you know. somebody to fill in, yes. do an open spot in school. <laughs> I remember being like whacked in the face with a wet cloth, and by a girl going to me, I was like, she's like, I was like, I'm obviously going to be a famous singer, and I was like 17. She went, Well, when do you actually sing? And I was all. Whoa, never, <laughs> never sang ever, never in front of anyone ever. And she was like, so what are you hoping to happen? God, that's a like, harsh oh, Marlon bit of reality. Story where someone discovers me in a coffee shop. Yeah. Singing. Yeah. It does feel like I, you know, when you read or like listen to podcasts about like early Hollywood and it's like she arrived from Kansas. Yeah. And uh, her first night in Hollywood, Louis B. Mayer drove past and that's said, it. do you, you want to lift to the Stop studios? The yeah. Yeah. And like that doesn't fucking happen. Anymore. It doesn't happen at all. You have to hustle your way on OnlyFans for, yeah. for, for 16 years. I don't know it's OnlyFans. The it's the only best. option. <laughs> <laughs> you told me it was the only option. Um, Just keep doing it. Yeah. We want audition. to put an extension on this house. Do you remember you're a star? Yeah, yeah. I auditioned for that. Is that the one Nadine was in? She was in a no. She was in Pop Stars: The Rivals. Pop Stars, right? Oh no, oh, that's not right. Hold on, she was in Pop Stars: The Rivals because there in was in England. Oh, why? But what one? What was she, she in, in Ireland? It wasn't Jura Star. That was the RT one. You sure? It was. I said nineteen eighty five. Did I not? Yeah, nineteen eighty six. Yeah. Hmm. I thought I said nineteen eighty five. Yeah. It was so adorable. It's, it's the so most adorable it's, fucking. It still draws the rounds now, doesn't it? Because you know the way yeah. the way kids lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah, like yeah. a kid lying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think that was all set up. No way. Apparently, well, I heard at the time. Now, you see, she went to my school. And at the time, everyone was like, was like, was like, was like oh, that's all been set up and all because um, actually, Lou Walsh has her poached for another show in all time. And it was all like, but they knew no what age. What they were saying, apparently, was that they knew what age she was from dead early on. Right. But she was the best. Yeah. And yeah, she was yeah. gorgeous. She and she was. was entertaining. And they were like, let's keep her on the show. And it'll be drama at the end. They it, were, well, like, I mean, we're still talking about it now. It fucking worked. 15, 20 years later. Yeah. But the only thing is, we cannot remember what the show was called, and then no. they obviously axed it. So <laughs> it didn't we work remember for them. her. Yeah, it worked for her. Yeah, yeah. Because then it meant whenever they brought her under the, whatever the pop stars arrived was then, she was already sort of famous. Yeah, 
and then she and then, then she was in the band but I uh, auditioned for Eurostar and I remember getting the bus from Derry to Dublin right I was about 16 dragged my boyfriend at the time and I was like come you're coming down so because he was over 18 I was on Metal in without an adult <laughs> <laughs> and then <laughs> and then I got to go down sang Rihanna a song from Rihanna which song Unfaithful how's that go you don't want to hear brought your boyfriend down and sang Unfaithful in front of <laughs> 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 <Yeah>. <laughs> but they literally within about three notes were all no and that's all oh. but I've been on a bus for four and a half hours yeah and they were like oh, fine sang some Shakira and that's all that's such a random request so I had to be all do you know what like of all the requests she's the most mental singer you could come up with she doesn't even sound like a normal woman I'm we're all part of Jackie's army it was absolutely shit do you think she nicked that Aye. She, she nicked that off the Irish football song. Yeah, she must yeah. have. PK Some, probably told her about it. Somebody's owed a few watching pounds. watching RT one day on a dodgy <laughs> fire stick in Spain. <laughs> um, right, we need to finish up. But do oh my God, really? Remember, that was fast. Yeah, we do 45 minutes normally, 15 right. minutes. Do what you remember you what know? date you're going to be 47, in line with? Sure. So before we go, what's your views on kids at festivals? Well, do you mean them Performing being on or? stage or no you? i mean like you're Bring going to where would you go would you just go to go to music festivals at all no would never. rather die never really i'd look I'd, I'd, I'd like um perform like electric picnic and stuff yeah and we what was that one stand all and we've done like a few done festivals but we brought the kids before and it was a shit show no we didn't yeah. stay over but it was unbelievably the it's the worst in the world yeah, yeah. have you I brought yours no i can't because i've seen other people i've seen kids at festivals and they look fucking miserable. Mm -hmm. And the dad is like wheeling them around in a wheelchair and they're wearing those big <laughs> headphones that the, the, the farmers have when they're cutting hedges. <laughs> and the kid's like, can we just go home? Like people are getting yeah. sick from doing ketamine. Yeah. And the kid's like, I just want to go back to the tent. It's like, oh, we're going to see... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. we're gonna see. Indie band. We're gonna see Moby. You know, you, you, you love Moby, <laughs> and I, I'm just like they're two worlds I never want to unite. Yeah, no. I want to go to festival time away from the kids. Yeah, I want to get out of my fucking mind. I want to get into the mind of a child. I don't want to mind a child. See, see, I went to Amsterdam recently, and I was one of the very few people that didn't take drugs in any shape or form. Wow, so you were minding them. Yeah. But in I next just, CBD oil, like it's going to fucking date in the house. My mate, we went to Amsterdam, my mate like bought a chocolate brownie and your man was like, so you might want to like uh, share it with your friends. The fuck? She ate the whole lot herself and we were just minding her and we we're like, we have to bring her. Like she was gone fucking sky Why, boys. Yeah. I'm like, we have to bring her back to the hotel and we're in the taxi and he's going through a tunnel and she's like, don't take the tunnel. That's how they got Diana. <laughs> 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 reverse, reverse, don't do it. and she's fucking going mental as we're speeding through this tunnel where we cannot turn around. Yeah. And uh, I was... paparazzi following you. There was that. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot to mention that. <laughs> Although I was at a festival before working and like gigging, and I was sat down at a tree eating some chips, right? Just mm -hmm. like in between. Oh, Just... at a tree. At a tree. Do you know the tree I'm talking piss? about? Is that what you're well, thinking? Yeah. I'm thinking piss. A girl sat down beside me, right? She was sat about three metres away with her friend on a Rubbing blanket. Rubbing a nappy up and down the tree. Yeah. <laughs> your ex-drama teacher. <laughs> yeah. She moved over, sat down beside me for a wee while, and I was talking to somebody, and then she went back over and sat down by her friend, and all I could smell was shit, and I looked. <gasps> She'd done a shit right beside me. Oh, done a shit. Oh, my Swear. God. Swear. And then went back to there, like right there. Wow. Did she even, like, wet wipe? I'm the, I think she just rubbed up the bark, rubbed her dirt on the bark. That's unbelievable behaviour. It's like, but also like, didn't even go out of sight. She just went for like three meters. Do you think it's because, like, obviously girls at festivals are more comfortable. Like it's easier for lads to pee. Yeah. So lads pee anywhere. And then girls get to learn how to pee, you know. In weird with, angles. In weird angles. So it's not much of a stretch to take a shit then. Like for a lad yeah, to take a yeah. shit. Going from taking a piss to taking a shit is a huge leap yeah. for lads. Yes. But for girls, I mean, it's the same position, really. Hmm. Well, I know, but it's your arsehole and shit. It is your arsehole. It's, yes. it's actually it's easier for a girl to shit than piss, you'd imagine. How? I don't I'd know, say man. The festival. The clean I showed the bovies now. <laughs> 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 both Turn off the cameras. <laughs> Do <laughs> them on. <laughs> yeah. um, so, when are you in the limelight? I'm in the limelight on the 20th of April. Shy talker. Shy talker.
is intentional. I like the idea because I do a lot of like promotion on like daytime TV. And I right. like the idea of watching them say it. Yeah. yeah. So your new show is Shy Talker. Yeah. Because <laughs> you can't say I got milk. They won't say I got milk on any mine. My turn is called got milk. And they'd be like, so your your new stand up show will just say that. <laughs> and then and no they, they wouldn't say got milk. That's on very the, conservative. The radio, I know. It's like, but it's much more conservative on the radio up here than down south. I suppose, yeah. It really, really you is. Know what was hard though? Years ago, I did a Facebook competition for oh the God. person with the most likes. Yeah. Was the name of my show. <gasps> and somebody called it ISIS Fundraiser. <laughs> oh, and, oh. and it won. Well, it won. Me, what did you do? You called, called the show it ISIS, ISIS Fundraiser. Fundraiser. Oh my yeah. God. The, and then had to cancel it. They got 300 quid. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I didn't cancel it. I did it. Did, you, did they not want you to cancel? Did they not ask you to change the name or cancel it? No, no, I did, did it. Did you do did it? Show. Yeah, yeah. That's brilliant. The show. That's but so fucking I put funny. posters up all around the place. Ten minutes <laughs> later, they were all down. They were all gone. I was like, fuck's sake, what a waste of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I suppose it's coming out of the money that's yeah. going it was to It's on Chortle. So. It made it, I like, thought we'd moved on Chortle. in Northern Ireland. <laughs> 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 I thought we were accepting of all people. <laughs> so, yeah, good times. That's nuts, yeah, man. ISIS fundraiser. ISIS fundraiser. Fair play to whoever came up with that. There, there was ones like Kitty Fiddler and Nance and all that's here. And I was I'll like, take the ISIS. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. If you're looking through those, you'd rather just call it Nance yeah. or not. <laughs> yeah, ISIS fun It's Vader. an Egyptian god of the sun. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, thank you very much for coming up. And, Thanks so much, guys. Um, if there is there some tickets left for your show? If there is, yeah, yeah okay. it's available. And uh, listen, anytime. I've got two kids, so like this, driving yeah. two hours to a podcast is a holiday. It's a dream, yeah. isn't it? I would drive to Donegal for a fucking TikTok. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'd get a plane to fucking yeah. Glasgow for a Vine. <laughs> Diona, uh, Diona's been re- in rehearsals the past two weeks for a show. Tickets out by. It's on oh, in, uh, the Lyric Theatre. Not the got no out. Way. Weeks. Sunny Side Up. Called Sunny Side Up. Today, Thursday, savage. Yeah, so I go into tech tomorrow. She's we been in rehearsals tonight. for the past two weeks, oh so I've God. had the kids by myself Monday to Friday, like nine to five, basically. Wow. What a hero! <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I'm telling the story. Sorry. That's not what I'm telling the story. <laughs> but um, yeah, did it all by myself. But um, the other day I went boxing training, and it was <gasps> the first time I'd been in the car in two weeks on my own. Yeah, and I got in the front seat, and I was like. I don't have to listen to Annie or <laughs> Matilda or fucking Frozen. What am I going to do? But I, I could not believe but it. But I bet you you were singing it in your head. 90s gangster rap. <laughs> fucking the whole Listen way. to Nuts on Your Chin by no. Easy e <laughs> <laughs> No Vaseline. Yeah. I get into the car when there's no kids music on and I still be like, I've been staring at the edge. And I, all oh, I can yeah. think of is Disney yeah. songs and I'm trying to, I don't want, I don't want that. I can't get out. My daughter loves... Um, she loves some a couple of odd songs. She loves Shimmy Shimmy Ya. Shimmy Shimmy Ya. Yeah, uh, old Dirty Bastard. Yeah. And she loves Smells Like Teen Spirit and um, a couple of Ramon songs. So that's not bad. Yeah. But do you think but she likes r- Frozen as well? But like she she likes Shimmy Shimmy Ya. <laughs> but do you think you can expose your kids to any music and they'll just like those music? Because my nieces all like like country roads and like they don't listen to kids music. They listen yeah. to like adult music because that's what they're exposed to. But I'm convinced that there is some sort of Disney, you've done something to their brains that it's, makes them hooked on it. They're very catchy. They're very fucking drug catchy songs. songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like crack. They are. They they are, and they they're whatever the like. I've tried to not get my daughter into the princess shit. Yeah. Like I've tried to actively avoid it. It's all, all that stuff makes me want to die. And Christ, good job. She went to nursery today with the crown <laughs> in her head, wearing an encanto dress. No way. She's like, ah. Oh. I think my daughter is attracted to the villains. So so ours. So like she's so sadistic. The she we saw a poster for King Kong Godzilla. And she was like, what's the story with these lads? So I, like, I was trying to kill time. So I told her the entire plot of the original King Kong. So she wanted to act it out. And um, she was, I, when I got to the bit, like, so anyway, the Americans, they, they knocked King Kong out and they put him on a boat and brought him back to New York. And she goes, oh, they're, they're bad lads. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, yeah. So when we're acting out, she wants to be, she always wants to be the baddie. So Loves being the baddie. Every night. I had to fucking I had to pretend to be King Kong in the fucking living room, like yeah. fighting airplanes, standing <laughs> yeah. on the couch. <laughs> Every night, Winter wants a story about Hank and Marv. Hank and Marv from Home Alone. Home Alone. <laughs> yeah. Like tonight, I was did they rob any other gaffs? Yeah. <laughs> you know what she made me tell her story tonight? So I always go, "What do you want your story about?" And she goes, "Hank and Marv," and they're trying to cut off all of Rapunzel's hair so she can't, no one get up to her. What a fucking lunatic! So sadistic, <laughs> yeah. Lunatic. But you tell her a story, and then she's like, "Will you tell me the story again?" Like straight away, and yeah. like, really, like a man kicked a baby off a, the top of a <laughs> yeah. mountain, and she's like, "Tell me that tell again." Me, tell me it again. See, it's yeah. lower. <laughs> Just turn while, the lights off. Why breaking the neck of a chicken? Yeah. Tell me that again. <laughs> 
Yeah, so we're raising evil kids. Yeah, they're all, I mean, there must <laughs> yeah. be something in the sadistic thing where they all want they all want the bad guy, all the yeah. evil stuff. It must be just like because they're they're, they're fun. They're fun and they don't have control over much in their lives, so they're like, mm. we can that guy's living his best life. Well, like they're the most interesting characters. Like the heroes are was boring. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like fucking fun. you won from Frozen, fuck off. <laughs> But it's like even most shows, the lead character is the sort of straight one, and the, yeah. there's always the funky best mate. The people that that's the that's the funnier one, yeah. or the like the more interesting character, isn't it? Like the Dwight in the an office or yeah. something like that. It's like the back to the fucking, back to the office, fucking again. office. Jesus, God. do you watch anything else? It's, it's all I know. <laughs> I'm doing a crash course for Mastermind. That's what I want. <laughs> <laughs> it's the office. Uh, we do need to finish up now. So um, thank yeah. you so much. Thanks, thank you so much April for having 20th, me. Up. I will put the link for your tickets you in the description. Amazing. Fair play to you. And uh, best luck with it. Are you, how many shows in are you? God, I know about nine, I suppose. Okay. And yeah. you have a good few left then? And well, I have this one. There's a few more dates added. So a few more. Yeah. Cork. While I'm on going ones. Cork, Cavan, Is it Dublin. just autopilot by now? Just... No, you're, or do you still have a bit of fun with it? And at the start, you kind of try and add new stuff, whatever's been in the news that week, really. Mm. Just to get it, it's just keep just it a bit fresh for yourself, up, yeah. you know? Otherwise, you're just you bored. You? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. for your own yeah. sense of you're mind. Going, yeah. What about that pandemic? <laughs> 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 Trump like, was a character, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, yeah. Trump was a character. <laughs> that thing in the devilish was nuts, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought people were getting mileage out of that. So, uh, how can people get tickets? Is it Kevin McGahern? Uh, Ticketmaster.com. Or ticketmaster.ie. Oh, KevinMcAleer.com. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can get my website, KevinMcGarrett.com or ticketmaster.ie. Right, thanks very much. Cheers, man. Thanks so much, guys.